HTPN highlights. Do you, do you have some uh, musical background? Because I see like that nice piano behind um, you. No, it's just for show. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I played piano like as a kid, but yeah. Yeah, I never enjoyed it and I never practiced. Um, yeah. But I do now, like I really like it now because I can do like whatever I want. So. Yeah, it's it's um, quite a common theme, right? Um, a lot of uh, kids, um, you know, kind of their parents sent them to music school, like, you know, play piano, which is a good thing, actually. But uh, a lot of them um, at some point just start hating it, you know. My wife yeah. was like that, you know, she plays really good piano and, you know, but she hates it. And I'm sitting there, I'm trying to learn it. And you know, she's kind of you know, having a good laugh looking at me, but you know, she <laughs> kind of doesn't like it because as a kid, she was forced or not really forced, but she had to go to like music school and practice and shit. And yeah, a lot of, you know, when kids start very early, usually they tend to not enjoying it when they grown up. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's not like your own choice either. Mm. So like this way, I'm like, okay, I know what I want. I'm going to do exactly what I want. And I choose to do this, even though sometimes it feels like an addiction. So I don't know if I'm actually choosing to do it. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, yeah, my sense of like self-punishment that's like pushing me through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how much of, uh, I mean, you know, since um, you haven't been doing it now for the past like 10, 15 years, but how much of the punishment uh, do you feel already? Like, oh yeah like from the get-go it's just my personality type like i just yeah. can't let something go <laughs> like yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably a really toxic trait but for some things it's good like for focusing and concentrating and getting shit done like yeah. can be really productive yeah i always feel like you know being a producer especially also making the music we do with all those nasty frequencies and mm -hmm. listening to a kick you know for a couple of hours in a loop um yeah i, I think like you know you 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 have to have like the tendency to like <laughs> you know feel miserable or love to feel miserable <laughs> yeah. you know because <laughs> like yeah. a normal human being uh you know doesn't go through that shit like especially like making cakes <laughs> and stuff you know you you really have the tendency yeah. to like yeah i want to feel miserable <laughs> it's not an instant gratification thing no at all. no No, no, I was going to say with your, your kick pack, you said like you're going to check yourself into a mental institution. Yeah. I get that. I really get that. So, yeah. 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 It's been four months now, four months I've been working on that kick pack. It's, um, yeah, you know, you, 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 you get, um, you get very close. I mean, like sometimes I'm also, <laughs> you know, after a full day of making kicks, I'm sitting there and I think like the fuck, you know, you could do so much more in your life. <laughs> um why you chose this next morning i wake up oh yeah i feel for making some cakes today <laughs> let's oh, do that's it great. <laughs> that's good then so it's fine yeah. yeah but um yeah like you said um so you feel already the punishment because i remember like when i was a kid it was all fun you know when i started making music It was all fun, you know, everything you do, you laugh, you think it's great, like the biggest pile of shit, you think it's ready to go out <laughs> on radio, you know, so like you're overly convinced about everything you do. Um, and then at some point, reality kicks in and that's where it's get like really terrible because then like all of a sudden you get real and you realize it's not that cool what you do. Yeah, you're not special, you're not unique, you're not a slow flake. Yeah. And yeah, it's gonna yeah, take yeah. a long fucking time until anybody gives a shit what you're actually doing. Yeah. Yeah. How how long uh did it take for you or d have you been already right from the get go pretty realistic on where you are and where you stand? I don't know. Like for music wise at the beginning, I think I thought it would be easy. Mm -hmm. So that's partly why I started it. And then I realized as I got in deeper, like, oh shit, this is not easy. No. But like my friends pushed me to keep doing it. And my friends like also helped me and not in the sense like girls say, my friend is helping me, but he actually did everything for her. It's actually like, they'll sit down and teach me all this shit and mm -hmm. then I'll do it. Um, yeah, but I'm realizing like I'm more and more critical now because I can hear more, mm -hmm. um, which is really nice because at the beginning I would make like an eight bar loop and be like, yeah, great. And yeah. I mean, I still do that, but I don't think it's a full song anymore. Yeah. So Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it that's... also like yeah, it gets easier now, so it's like yeah, fun. Oh, really? I mean, I mean, you mean the production process gets easier or like... yeah, like taking something from my thoughts and actually getting it out to something like I thought it might sound like. That process goes a lot faster yeah. with less effort, so then I can do like a lot more and better stuff. What do you think is the the reason for that? Also, workflow. So you 
you know you not looking for certain commands or something um or what why why you think um you know you can translate your ideas faster now yeah that's part of it like learning how the, the daw daw works and learning the shortcuts on the keyboard which is like mm -hmm. huge in ableton and there's so many like little secret things you can do yeah. for the workflow but also like mentally like so i'm like going from something in your mind to getting it actually like you can see it and hear it um, there's a lot of steps involved in that and like mental hula hoops that you like put yourselves through. Um, but yeah, like allowing my ideas to go through all these little checkpoints along the way and like not stopping it, like, yeah. you know, so much early on. So yeah, part of it is like, yeah, my mental process, but the other part is just the integration with how I'm working with the, yeah, the tool I'm using. Mm -hmm. HTTPN highlights.